Welcome back to the program, and it is a pleasure to have once again ahead of Valentine's Day weekend, Joseph Tukovsky. He's the author of 40 Thieves on Saipan, the elite Marine scout snipers in one of World War II's bloodiest battles. We were able to profile him on the American Veteran Show and talk about that very book. But again, being just a couple of days from Valentine's Day, we wanted to have him on because he really, I think, has been given a gift, and I'm sure the first person who would tell you it would be Joseph. And welcome back to the show. It's great to talk to you again. And what a gift. I, I don't know if you concur, but I, I see these love letters between your, your mother and your father. And boy, it must have been something to read them. Well, it was, uh, it truly was a gift. Um, and how wonderful that they were so diligent in saving this material. Uh, my father mentioned that uh, uh, my mother's writing was so prolific, almost a letter or two every day wow. from, you know, 1942 through 1946, that he didn't have any more room in his uh, footlocker to store <laughs> them. So at one point he writes home that he's, you know, destroyed them all. And um, after he did that, he said, well, I could have just boxed them up and sent them to you instead. It's like, why not? <laughs> because... Um, Mom was so uh, effusive in her love. It would have been really wonderful to see her, you know, what she actually wrote, as opposed to my father summarizing or, or mm -hmm. you know, mentioning what what she has written about in his replies to her. Right. Joseph Tukovsky is a terrific guest. We had him on the American Veteran Show last year, and again, uh, Forty Thieves on Saipan in his book. Uh, talks about his father and and the scout snipers and your father was an incredible I, I mean he probably and I know that generation they say no 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 we were just doing our job but these are heroes to people like me and you and here it is your father was there a common theme was your mom overly gushy was your dad uh, you know a typical male in you know in in his 20s and at war uh, what were the, what were the, kind of some themes that ran through them well the the theme that was most prevalent was the persona of who he was in combat and then what he could write about to her at home so she wouldn't worry. Um, in fact, there was uh, an episode that's not in the book because it gets a little too involved and would have taken up too much time, but he gets awarded the Silver Star for Actions on Tarawa. And he's not going to tell her anything about it until some Marine correspondent sends the clipping to Roxy in the mail. Wow. And she is parading it all around town, you know, talking it up, bragging it up. Um, and he has to pretty much tell her, you know, cease and desist. You know, I didn't do anything. You know, there wasn't anything going on on the island where I was. It's not a big deal. I'm not running for mayor back there. You know, so please, you know, don't talk about it because these were all very modest guys, and uh, and mom was very ebullient. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, was there um, something for do you think for your dad's kind of psyche to know that at times, as you mentioned, and again, this wasn't as we're just a couple of days again away from Valentine's Day. This wasn't just at certain occasions. There were times, as you mentioned, where your mom would write one or two letters a day. But I wonder how much that improved or made your dad feel just that much better and, and couldn't wait to get home. It, it certainly made him feel better. He always, in fact, uh, in one of the letters, he talks about it being as a real morale booster. Mm. That you know you're getting all of this uh, mail and attention from home, um, I, as and as much he even writes as, as much as they would would want to go home, they know that there's a job to do and they need to get it done. So the the determination to you know complete the their mission uh, sort of trumped any bit of longing to to go home and be home. Um, and in fact, many times when, at least when dad went on leave and then returned to Saipan, um, he intimated that it was almost worse to go home for that, you know, month or so, and then have to come back. Um, not as though the coming back was bad, but you didn't realize how much you'd changed 
until you got out of the environment that you've known for three years. And it was vastly different, you know, than it is today for servicemen. You know, these guys went off to war in 1942, and they didn't get home or see anybody other than, you know, natives or a few civilians in Hawaii, you know, they just saw each other, other right. Marines. And uh, it was uh, very difficult to go home. And I think one of the fellows likened it as though you're looking, you're outside of a house looking in and everything is familiar to you. You see all of your family, all of your friends, but you don't feel as though you can go inside, but you still do. But it's just sort of, you've changed so much that you don't know how to relate to people who haven't experienced what you've experienced. Absolutely. Again, our guest, Joseph Tukovsky, his book, 40 Thieves on Saipan, and it is uh, truly one that if you're into this type of material, if you're uh, a World War II mini history buff like I am, you'll love the story. And you've got a letter that's not in 40 Thieves that uh, was specifically for Veterans Day, and I'll start it uh, from the information that we have from you. Dearest Roxy, this is Valentine's Day. I wouldn't have known had not somebody mentioned it this morning. This evening, your Valentine card arrived. I feel grateful that I am your Valentine. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, you know, this is just a good example of uh, mother's effusiveness. Uh, toward dad. How about good timing, too? Joseph, good timing. He gets it in the middle (laughs) of nowhere, right? On the day. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it it, it writes, you know, something like, you you don't have to uh, explain to me how much you love me because the way you write makes me think you're writing to uh, a moron and you're talking (laughs) to a wall. Um, I'm not Charles Boyer. I cannot, you know, express my feelings, you know, romantically or cleverly. Um, I can just, you know, pledge to you that I will return your love with, you know, depth and sincerity. And it, it's sort of the difference between, you know, pragmatic father and uh, flamboyant mother. Mm hmm. Did your mom, you know, so many people over the last couple of decades, and we've done fundraisers and we've raised money. We've raised uh, literally stuff like, you know, donations of socks and cookies and um, you name it. And, you know, these care packages were certainly sent over to our men and women over the past couple of decades to Iraq and Afghanistan. Did your mom send your dad stuff? Oh, she was well known uh, among his buddies. Um, ever since being posted on Iceland and getting packages up there, guys would see a package arrive and they'd huddle around his bunk um, because there'd be just <laughs> such a wealth of, you know, Cocona Club cheese and nuts and crackers and, you know, canned items and cookies. And um, there was a time when uh, I think as Christmas gifts for all of his lieutenant buddies, she knit them all socks. Oh. And uh, and uh, yeah, she was she was well known, and not just sharing with his fellow officers. He he'd share things with his men as well. That's great. As we wrap up, Joseph Tukovsky is our guest. You can find his book Forty Thieves on Saipan." You can find that on Amazon, and I know it's uh, it's it's doing well, and, and I know you got a really great rating as well. And and as you should, as as we wrap up, I don't want to end on a bummer note. But I'm wondering, okay. you know, you you indicated in the beginning, and I, I would feel this way, I would imagine. I've never found something like this within my family. But in finding the letters and understanding the exchanges that were going on, you mentioned that it was a gift. I'm wondering, was there any part that you were just – it's not that it made you sad, but it's just, you know, when people are gone and we find things, and especially you read things – and I know your father's been gone a decade, but I'm just wondering – You know, was there any sadness to reading those as well? There was sadness in some things that he would write home that I understood because I knew what transpired in the Pacific. Right. But when he'd he'd write home about this really good friend of his, Pappy Moorhead, 
And um, Roxy had always asked questions about Pappy because she met him when they were in OC school together. And he was from Mississippi and had this wonderful accent. And he could have been Ashley Wilkes in her eyes. And <laughs> he gets killed on Tarawa. Mm. And in a PS, um, on a letter, Frank writes, uh, Roxy, you, you very often, you know, ask about Pappy. Well, Roxy, I won't be seeing Pappy anymore. Oh. You know, something Man. like that is, is just, you know, breathtaking. Right. You know, that that's how, how he has to tell Roxy. And, and she doesn't get it. She doesn't know that he he's died. Mm-hmm. And he can't, you know, he can't tell her either until family is notified or something like that. Right. Um, and it was just, you know, that was sad to sort of, you know, see, you know, live their lives once again. Uh, you know, when they were, you know, in their 20s and young and in love. And it was, you know, just like uh, their own little from here to eternity. Mm-hmm. And um, and that, you know. It's certainly happy, you know, that he came home well and they stayed together and raised a family. But uh, just to know, uh, so many of them said it was harder to come home than it was to fight the war. Right. Your father died at 96. How long were they married? They were married from 1941 until... Was it 41 or 40? 1942, Mm -hmm. until my mom passed away in 1991, so almost 50 years. Wow. Listen, I always enjoy your conversation and uh, look forward to having you on uh, again on the program. Again, friends, 40 Thieves on Saipan is Joseph Tukoski's uh, book, and I wish you the best of luck as uh, you working on anything else coming up this year. Yep, I'm um, I'm going to go. It's hard to get anything done from home, so I'm going to... uh, Rent a rent a little cabin for three weeks and start hammering out a, a new project that I'm working on. Excellent. Well, we look forward to it. If it fits the program, we'll certainly put it on. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I will wish you a happy Valentine's Day weekend ahead. And I'm sure glad <laughs> I'm sure glad that you shared those uh, love letters between your parents. It's terrific. Well, thank you, Steph, and I appreciate it. You bet. Joseph Tukovsky, his book again, 40 Thieves on Saipan. Always appreciate his time. We'll take a break, and we'll have more coming up on this Friday, 710 KNUS.